Hello friends, this video is about Flying Daggers 45, first LCA squadron. The first two contemporary or fourth generation light combat aircraft Tejas has joined the Indian Air Force squadron called Flying Daggers in Bangalore. The induction marked the fusion of a 33-year, nearly 8,000 crore national dream to have an Indian fighter in the country's air defense fleet. Two more LCA will join number 45 squadron in a few months. Group Captain Madhav Gangachari is its first commanding officer. Hindu, Sikh, Muslim and Christian priests chanted prayers for the success of the force youngest fight the fleet. A full squadron will have 16 fighters and 2 to 4 trainers. The squadron will move to the base in Sulu in Tamil Nadu after 2 years. Hull is ramping up production at its two dedicated production lines. Some things to know. Aeronautical Development Agency was set up in 1984 to develop the fighter. The LCA made its first flight on January 4, 2001. It was named Tejas by Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. LC has been designed keeping in mind every aspect including maneuverability, ability to carry weapons, weight of the aircraft, etc. Composed of 42% carbon fiber composites, 43% aluminum alloy. Tejas participated in its first foreign show at the Bahrain International Air Show 2016. Tejas can travel at a maximum speed of 2,205 km per hour. IF says Tejas is the smallest, lightweight, multi-role, single-engine, tactical fighter aircraft in the world. Not a single Tejas fighter has been lost to an accident during flight test of 3000 sorties. The homegrown aircraft is equipped with a quadruplex digital fly-by-wire flight control system to ease handling by the pilot. Tejas incorporates a distinctive glass cockpit in which information is displayed real-time to the pilot. In comparison to JF-17, Tejas is superior as it is mostly made of 
composites which make it light and agile. The upgraded version of Tejas with active electrically scanned array radar, unified electronic warfare suit, mid-air refueling capacity and advanced DVRS will cost somewhere between 275 crore to rupees 300 crore. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.